I'm Kevin Cito, Superintendent of Light Rail Vehicle Engineering at the GTC. Mr. Kevin Cito? Cito. Cito. Okay. Uh, yeah, can you tell us more about these, uh, the new uh, rail that's being introduced, railway being introduced? Yeah, so these right. are uh, new light rail vehicles that will replace our entire uh, streetcar fleet. Um, they're about twice as long as our existing streetcars, which adds to the capacity reducing crowding on our vehicles. Um, they're also accessible, wheelchair accessible, a uh, key part of our uh, strategy to make our entire transit system accessible. Mm -hmm. So, uh, when do you plan to have this in operation? Well, uh, the public will see three prototype vehicles running around the middle of next year. They'll be uh, running for around 9 to 12 months exclusively for engineering testing. We want to make sure everything works prior to uh, allowing uh, the public on, on board and us re uh, actually running revenue service. So after that's complete, we'll start revenue service and we anticipate that to be late in 2013 and early in 2014. So how much is the train fare? Is this any different from what is uh, being charged now? No, we, we don't expect uh, fares to be increased because of these vehicles. Uh, what a lot of people don't know is that we have two very distinct budgets, an operating budget and a capital budget. The operating budget is what uh, fares go into and helps pay for our day-to-day -day operations. Our capital budget is a separate uh, budget to pay for large infrastructure investments like these new vehicles. So these vehicles are paid out of the capital budget, which is uh, coming from funding sources like the City of Toronto and the Province of Ontario. So on which lines are these going to run? Yeah, the first line will be uh, Spadina. Uh, that'll be the first line that these vehicles roll out to, and then being deployed eventually to all our street car routes. All right, thank you very much. You're welcome. So how, how different is this new uh, train with the ones that are currently running? I think they're different in almost every way and, and better in almost every way. Uh, our current streetcars were delivered in the late 1970s, uh, mid 1980s. Uh, technology's gone a long way, vehicle design has gone a long way, so uh, these vehicles are larger, more spacious, uh, have larger, bright open windows, uh, more modern technologies for uh, announcing stops and security cameras as well. There's air conditioning, uh, something that uh, people will notice, especially in the summertime in our streetcar system. So a lot of things that we've been able to do because of new modern technologies and able to do uh, with just a, a more modern design.